Brother Ali, some of these fellas are so skillful on these bikes. Mm -hmm. You have people in other parts of the world with those skills. They have farms and arenas where they can display those skills and they make money with it. Yeah. These fellas, they pop that bike up until somebody knock them down and then they are paying somebody for a broken leg, to treat the broken leg. But I don't think our young people appreciate the genius that they have, the creative genius, um, the ability to ride a bike mm -hmm. on a one wheel. Okay. And with the skill that I've seen some of these young people do it, mm -hmm. I don't think they appreciate the talent and skill that, and the potential they have to create things and to be able to control the destiny of themselves and much the community around them. These same young fellas that riding through on these fast bikes, they also have the potential to be leaders in those communities. And I think part of the tragedy, what we, you've been talking about tonight, is the fact that our people don't realize their potential to control their destinies. I think, you know, we start, we were talking about it um, last week, um, but it's, it's something I refer to as the um, Esau complex. We tend to give away our birthright for mass supportage, and we seem to be comfortable with that. We don't believe that we should control industries. We don't believe that we can be creators of great works of art. We don't feel that we can do anything that's on a level with the metropoles or England, America, and all these big countries around us. But you know, if you think about it, we have immense potential in, in, in the diaspora. It's, it's so much <coughs> wealth of potential. I mean, Chicago, Detroit, Bahamas, Jamaica, Trinidad. I mean, wherever I have gone in the world, I have encountered talented, gifted young black people with a wealth of potential to transform this, not just their country, but to transform us as a people globally. Yeah, but Mr. Hanna, we have to help them. Well, how are we going to do that, brother? They, they are searching. There yeah. are musicians. For example, I had a run-in with uh, some people in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when we first saw uh, or we began to listen to what we call the modern rap music mm -hmm. or the change of music, mm -hmm. there were a lot of Caucasians who said that is going nowhere. Mm -hmm. It is ebonics in a sense. Mm -hmm. And we lived not, in a couple of years, there were the hip hop generation clothing. Mm -hmm. There were those who went and sold their CDs out of cars. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, there were millionaires. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, taboo to even talk about. Mm -hmm. um, not King Cole, I remember, uh, um, well, you now you're letting us know your age. Now. Lil, Lil Richard, when he wrote, I forget what songs it was, Pat Boone took the song, yeah. went and sang it, made a hit yeah. before anybody heard about yeah. Lil Richard. Yeah. These young men today, instead of giving all of that up, they are beginning to produce themselves mm -hmm. because of what they saw happened in the 70s, 50s, 60s to those before us. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at a wiser generation. I hope so. We're looking at a wiser you know, they a just lot need of our people get beaten in the music industry, you know. No, no. We just need to be, ch they just need to be channeled. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The thing is, I remember Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. When Bob Marley and Burning Spears and many others were talking about King James Version was not the right version, book wise. Everybody was against reggae music as far as don't even play it around the church. Surprisingly, when you go to church today, most of what you're hearing is not Mahalia Jackson anymore or Aretha Franklin in gospel or the blind boys from Andrews. The writing is on the wall. You're not hearing that no more. What you're hearing is this reggae beat coming, pumping out about Jesus, mm -hmm. which I think to an extent is some sort of, uh, 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 we're, we're exploiting mm -hmm. the name of Jesus because you're not feeling that spirit to me anymore. Mm -hmm. And you're not seeing 
the transformation. So something is wrong when you are able to hold a vast amount of people and at the end of the day, you don't see a change within them. But I do believe for what we are now housing in the Bahama Pan-African Congress, we are taking in everybody, showing what their responsibility is to bring about the change needed for our survival. I want you to hold that thought, Brother Ali. Um, we're going to just take a short break and we'll be right back.